happy and healthy. These are the stock answers most parents give when asked what they want for their young children. When deep down, what they really want is for them to be quietly occupied. For centuries, that was achieved through rocks and sticks and imagination. Then came comic books and TV. And now we have the iPad and the smartphone. But while they are great restaurant distractions, what are all those touch screens doing all those growing little brains? Here's ABC's Juju Chang. Thank you, iPad. There are plenty of proud parents sharing their infants' touch screen skills on YouTube. Uh, Show me Word World. Okay. Where you go? Oh. Okay. Right there. Good job. Yeah. Word when it's taken World. away, you often get this. Batteries run out. In a recent survey, 70% of parents admitted to letting their kids use their user-friendly devices. But some worry about what it's doing to their tiny developing brains. The iPad didn't even exist three years ago, so there's no hard data yet. Is it shrinking their attention spans, ruining their eyesight, or perhaps stunting their social skills? All right, no, you're already playing on that. No, lady. No, no, no. Five minutes. Meet Devin, nine, Delaney, seven, and Dalton, who's four. They are savvy digital divas. Dalty, can you hear me? Dalty, no. did you hear me? No. The Klauses of New Jersey are a very modern family. So if we go out to eat, which we never do, and they're all out of control, we can whip them out and they will completely be distracted until the food arrives. What is that? The temple run? Yeah. Look. Oh, I see that. Can you do it? No. She's three, okay? She's not supposed to be good at temple run. We asked them to see what would happen if they go iPad and iPhone free for a month. Ah. You heard me. Cold turkey. So you say bye-bye, iTouch. Bye, iTouch. Bye, iPhone. Say bye, iPhone. I bye, iPhone. Bye, iPhone. bye, iPad. Bye, iPad. You can't play with them anymore. Okay. Okay. You totally can't play with it. The girls were left to play with their analog toys and had to resort to imaginary play. So, Devin, that's not a Devin, real iPad. What is that? This is my book light, Devin. Um, yeah. So you're pretending it's an iPad? Yeah. And perhaps, not surprisingly, they fought a lot more. Don't do that, Dalton. Don't do that. To help us understand what we're seeing, we went to Barnard University's renowned toddler center to observe through a two-way mirror kids reacting to traditional toys versus an iPad. Here, here, touch a letter. The center tested something known as distractibility. First, the kids aged three to five are given iPads to play with. The grown-ups call their names and see how readily they respond. Jackson, what are you playing? I would like to see you make the letters. Touch the screen Jackson. with your finger. And Lucas, what are you playing over there? Lucas, Serena, what are you matching? Serena. Meanwhile, the only toddler who managed to resist its magnetic pull never fully tunes out her environment. Vivian, do you want to come play with the iPads? No, you can keep playing that if you'd like. Next, you the tablets are confiscated. Oh, you're sad they're going away. It seemed to the researchers that the toddlers become more verbal, more social, more creative creatures. Mm, like pancakes. I like pancakes. I like pancakes. Tova Klein specializes in toddler social and emotional development. You see how much their vocabulary has gone up? How tall is that? I'm not ready for the roof. Klein says the more you use a device to calm your kids down, the less likely they are to learn to do it themselves. It's okay to get upset, you'll get through it. And this is a way to stop them in their tracks. Okay, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. So if you never learn that skill, because you're constantly pacified with an iPad, you're not learning the skill of coming right. down from a tantrum. Right. Exactly. Studies show that hours and hours of screen time does no real harm to a kid's eyesight, but it is associated with behavioral problems down the road, which is why the American Academy of Pediatrics discourages passive screen time for kids under two. Yo yo. But tablets aren't yo -yo. passive, they're interactive, and that's the intriguing twist, because long-term research just released shows that toddlers do learn better from interactive yeah. media. 
The team behind the beloved Sesame Street characters has been developing educational apps geared to be interactive. I think the conventional wisdom is that parents who give their toddlers apps are terrible parents. I think that's wrong. I really do. I'm trying to create content to engage you to interact with your child and so that you could extend the learning. Rosemary Trulio says mm -hmm. apps can teach more than just letters and numbers. What's that? Apple. Apple. When a parent gets involved, she says it can be highly educational. You're not against Fruit Ninja and Angry Birds and the other popular apps that are out there. You're talking about trajectories, you're talking about angles, you're talking about force. But use descriptive language as you're playing. Angry Birds is physics lesson. Angry Birds is physics lesson. <laughs> Back in New Jersey, deprived of her electronics, nine-year-old Devin has learned an old-fashioned craft. What did it make I, you realize? I had free time to do that. Like, in the morning, I started off doing it. <laughs> Yay! But all that goes out the window as soon as the girls are reunited with their digital devices. Oh, my gosh. So would you recommend it, going iPad-free for a while? It's the amount of time that you allow your kids to, to play with anything, you know, how much time they watch TV, how much time they yeah, use the, the devices. Limits, the limits, the limits. If you're the, you, your child is the one who's never looks up and is constantly glued to it, then that's not a good thing regardless. If they continue to have great social skills with other friends, if they're still doing the play dates and they're still getting outside and they're still playing well with each other, I think that anything in moderation. Turns out iPads oh, are like any other media for kids. Parental discretion is advised. I win! You win? Good job! For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New Jersey.